guys welcome to the second part of the monthly crystal healing video for october this is for libra scorpio sag cap aqua and pisces for those who are new to these kind of videos that i do i basically use this deck the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck to see the crystals that will benefit each sign for the month of october then i'm also going to pull some tarot cards very brief we're not going to go super super deep or anything um just to see why you need those crystals and no matter how many times i do these videos i will always read the description of the crystals to you because we get newbies all the time and also these are very general okay no need to go out and buy crystals if you don't really need them right so i read these descriptions so that you can decipher for yourself if you actually need to buy these crystals for you okay all right so let's go ahead and get started with libra happy birthday libras by the way happy birthday what crystals do my libras need for the month of october and by the way i can't sleep which is why I'm doing it now. And you're seeing me in my PJs with my bed head. It's about 2.20 in the morning. <laughs> um, but I got a lot of energy, so I was like, eh, might as well do it. Might as well do it. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? Okay. What crystal? This is very quick. Golden healer. Uh oh. Libra. <laughs> Libra. I feel some ancestral stuff going on here. Are you dealing with some generational curses here? So you guys might be dealing with some generational curses. Let's see what else we got going on here. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? What other crystals? Do my Libras need for the month of October? Come on. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of October? Oh, Libra, happy birthday. You only need one crystal. All right, you guys are probably gonna be chilling during your birthday season. I like that. It's always nice to hear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Golden Healer, Ultimate Healing. Golden Healers are imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses, expanded by a sixth, metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once, where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. So do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and solar gateway and aligns and cleanses all the chakras and great for channeling the Christ consciousness. Wow. Libra. Why do I feel like you're cutting cords? I feel like a lot of you are dealing with family stuff. I really feel a lot of family ancestral stuff with you guys, but I also feel a lot of cutting of cords is needed. But let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need... Oops, sorry. <laughs> see why you need this crystal, Okay. And you guys only got one. I think you're the only sign so far for October that only got one. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Nine of Cups, and I bent it all out of hell and dropped it between my thighs. Hold on. Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, because you want to be happy. Libra, it's time to be happy. Some of you will be definitely be celebrating your birthday in a big, big way. You are Libra. Do you ever not celebrate it in a big way? Um, either way, Libra, it's time for you to be happy. It's time to cut cords. It's time to deal with ancestral trauma, ancestral you know, ancestral karma as well. It's happy time. It's happy time for Libra. It's time for you to also put yourself first, Libra, is what I'm getting with that too. It's time to put yourself first. I also feel like you're very proud of yourself. You're very, very proud of yourself, Libra. Whatever it is you're proud of, you're proud of yourself very vip energy as well okay why do my libras need this crystal for the month of october i just heard august that's interesting i just heard august um something could have happened in august that could be resurfacing during this time keep in mind mercury retrograde happens on halloween pre-shadow starts on the 11th of october 
And we know how Mercury Retrograde works. Always bringing shit up back from the past, right? But something happened in August. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Ooh, Sag energy. You're you're speaking your truth to people. You also could be traveling. So you could definitely be traveling here. Um, I just saw a big ass limo. Okay, interesting. Hey, get your party on. Get your party on, okay? Just don't drink and drive. 222 as I looked at the stove, okay? But I do feel a lot of communication coming in here. And you're just telling people, I'm happy. I'm putting me first. And I don't give a shit. Because <laughs> I deserve to put me first. I deserve to put me first. Oh, Libra. We all have fortune, Jupiter energy. Look at you. Oh, my God. Libra, this is awesome energy. This is a lot of forward movement, a lot of happiness, a lot of satisfaction, having more than enough and being on the move and being happy about it. Some of you could also be doing some online dating. I do feel a bit of text messaging energy going on there. Let's see what else we got out here for you guys. Why do my Libras need these crystals? For the month of, of I keep hearing August, October, <laughs> October. Libra, I really feel like this is you cutting cords. I'm sorry, I just gotta, they're bringing me back there. You're cutting cords and you're getting away from people that have been holding you back. Family, friends, otherwise. Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of October? Why do my Libras need this crystal for the month of October? Ooh, ooh. Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy. You're putting an end to major cycles here. I feel like it's more just the representation of ending of cycles. You know, it's mental, you know. You know you have to end some stuff, you know you have to end some cycles, and you know it's time to put yourself first, be happy in doing that, and not be afraid to also say it. Well, mm-hmm, Ten of Wands in a verse, Sag energy putting down the burden. Look at this, you got two tens. I would not be surprised if you get another ten out here, especially because we do have the Wheel of Fortune representing going into a new cycle here. Also, a ten, right? Actually, technically, you do have three tens then, don't you? <laughs> okay, Libra, this is about putting down your burdens, ending the shit that doesn't serve you, ending the stuff that's been holding you back. <clears throat> A lot of you, this is relationships. Why else does limit do my Libras? Oh, that's it. Oh my God, talk about a cycle. Overall energy, the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, shows real Capricorn. Libra, 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 Libra. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful energy. You're celebrating you. You're not afraid to say it. You could definitely be traveling with the world and the Eight of Wands. These are two very heavy travel cards, domestic and or international. Things are moving, whole new chapter for you. You're gonna be really, really happy, but you gotta put down the burdens. You gotta put down the burdens and baggage of other people. You gotta, you gotta cut the cords of people who wanna hold you back. And Libra, you can't rise if you've got all that baggage. Your boat isn't gonna get very far if you got a shit ton of sandbags in it, right? It's time to lighten the load. Time to lighten the load, okay? Underneath that, three of cups. Can't see any energy. Celebration. This is your overall energy, Libra. Look at this. This is a really happy time. Really, really happy time. You really only need this to continue getting rid of this baggage, okay? And cutting these cords. Very nice, Libra. I like it. Hopefully Scorpio will fare just as well. <laughs> it is also Scorpio season at the end of October. <clears throat> Excuse me. So happy birthdays to Scorpios as well. Let's see what crystals my Scorpios need. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? Okay. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? Oh, oh, Scorpio! rose quartz i like it scorpio you got some love coming in i like it you got some love coming in i feel you got you oh okay you gotta heal some shit for this for this love situation you guys are gonna be finding yourselves in okay you gotta heal some old wounds trigger i did just hear trigger what other crystals do my scorpios need for the month of october What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? 
What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of October? Go. What other crystals? Okay. Uh, Hold on a second. Clyde, stop. Stop it. Sorry, he's acting out. He's like, why aren't we in bed? Because <laughs> mama couldn't sleep. All right. So we have rose quartz and ancestral light. I like this for you, Scorpios. This is a lot of love and self-love coming in here. Um, oh, some of you guys got some codependency stuff. Okay. Clyde, thank you. Sorry. Some of you guys do have some codependency stuff kind of coming in. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with some family stuff as well. Same with Libra here. So Clyde. He's testing me. He's testing me. <sighs> Bringing it back, Scorpios. Some of you guys are definitely be, be dealing with codependency issues rooted in your childhood. I feel specifically childhood issues here, but I feel like it's in order to get prepared for romance or to be dealing with romance, okay? So let's go ahead and read these crystals. My phone keeps glitching and it's making me nuts. It's making me a little crazy. Rose Quartz, unconditional love. Rose Quartz is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you, heals past emotional traumas, or provides support. Provide, oh, 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 my God, <laughs> provides support during a crisis. You are a beautiful soul who has infinite peace deep within and enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul lessons, heal heartbreak or abuse, and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. You have power to love unconditionally and to support others. Forgive yourself. Love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at an end. Emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive love from others. Support is available in a crisis. Unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another. The frequency of the stone is medium to high, depending on the clarity. Great for the heart chakra, for Taurians and Libras, and for radiating unconditional love. Oh, some of you guys are going to be have to... Bleh. I like spoke way over my words here. Some of you guys are going to be have, have to be dealing with very complex family dynamics here. I feel like I have to dig deep here. I feel like I have to dig deep, Scorpio, and face the big bad wolf in whatever family dynamic you have a big bad wolf in, okay? Because I feel like it's directly going to help you in your romantic life and your romantic situations here, okay? For some of you, it is about your father issues, I'm just saying. No tea, no shade. We've all got an issue somewhere. We've all got a big bad, big bad wolf in our family somewhere, right? Ancestralite, the ancestors. Ancestralite has been radically modified during its time in the earth. It helps you to find the treasures hidden in your past. It takes healing way back and brings forward soul learning, rolling it into the future, but letting go of the experiences that created it. Any disease you are carrying is ancient and has passed down through the ancestral line. It relates to prevailing attitudes and forbidden emotions that have been kept firmly repressed, as well as to ancient traumas and family dramas. Take note of your dreams. Family secrets come to the surface. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scorpio, you digging up some family skeletons out of the closet? <laughs> A radical rethink is called for on all that you think you believe and allow yourself to feel. The ancestors are all those who have gone before you, not just your bloodline. Heal them and heal yourself. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for all chakras and for manifesting the gifts from the past. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. Sorry. That was interesting. Sorry. Um, almost went astral there for a minute. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and see why you need these crystal Scorpios. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpio? I'm hearing December. Scorpios, some of you guys need these crystals that you can, again, address some deeply wounded childhood issues here. For some, it's around a parental figure, getting specific father it, father issues. For some of you, or issues around a masculine energy, a big bad wolf in your family. And I feel like you have to do this now to be prepared for something to happen in December. Could just be to prepare for the holidays. But I do feel for some of you, it is definitely to prepare for a romantic situation. Might not be happening until December, okay? But get ready now. Get ready now. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do 
my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? <laughs> Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Oh, come back. For some of you, it's addressing mental illness in your family, okay? Mental illness in your family. Others, you've got a lot of options. Got a lot of dating options that you don't even know what to do with here, Scorpios. Um, I feel like you are getting hit up a lot, Scorpio, especially for any Scorpios who actually have their birthday at the end of October. Um, I do feel like you're getting hit up a lot, but I feel like there's only two, three? Yeah, two, two options. For some of you, it's three options that are really standing out as viable. But you kind of know that it's like, Ooh, I kind of need to work on some stuff before I approach that. Others, you like I said, it's addressing mental illness within your family or a mentally ill family member. Five of Wands and Reverse Leo Energy, yeah. Getting rid of competition, getting rid of fighting. Scorpios, you don't want to have all these options. You don't mind having options, but you don't like to be overwhelmed by options. Scorpios are very loyal, very committal, okay? You guys don't like to pay, play the field for too long. Uh, with the Five of Wands in Reverse, this is when to get rid of those options, get rid of the competition. Others, because of mental illness pervading your family, you want to stop the fighting, you want to stop the conflict that comes from that. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Ooh, lovers in reverse. Oh, come on, focus. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy here. Also my divine soul connection card. So take that however you want to. Soulmate, divine counterpart, twinsies, whatever title you want to put on it, okay? Um, Scorpio, I again, I feel a major romantic love and just trying to come in here. They're trying to take center stage. But like I said, you've got options. Two, for most of you, it's two others it could even be three that you see as viable but there's one big one trying to be seen here through the fog and through the wands and through all the other people they're trying to show themselves one of my scorpios too many cards why do my scorpios need these crystals okay fine 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 <laughs> they're fighting me they're fighting me we have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, and then Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, it's Sag energy. I just heard Gemini. You can be dealing with the Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. You want to move the wheel forward here. There is a block here, and the block is basically just to siphon through the options. And for others, where you're dealing with a mentally ill family member, to deal with that. Okay, so to stop the fight, the fighting. I feel like there's yeah. Okay, I feel like there's family drama. Like, can't I can't speak. I feel like there's family drama being stirred up by one very mentally ill family member or one family member that seems mentally ill but it's unsure right like it's like mm, unsure for those where that's the the scenario they're not balanced they're really not balanced they're really not stable they let their emotions run the show they let their emotions run the show and you want to move the wheel forward and just stop the fighting stop the mis miscommunication stop the delays in progress here within your family and like i said for others you don't want to have all these options for those where this is just purely about romance. You don't want to have it all. It's too much. It's a little too much for you to the point where you're even avoiding some of the messages at some point. And you just want to move the wheel forward, but there's one romantic interest that's really trying to show themselves. Let's see what else we got out here. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Wow, why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? Three of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. This can be overindulgence. This could also indicate a very toxic social circle for me as a reader. It also indicates a lack of reconciliation. Like I said, for some of you, you have a romantic interest that's trying to take the center stage over all the other options. Hi, Clyde. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, like I said, trying to get my attention. For some of you, like I said, you have a romantic interest trying to take center stage in front of all the other options. Oh, jeez. This Mercury retrograde is going to be a bitch. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're not even close to the pre-shadow effect. And like all this technology stuff has been freaking out for all lightworkers that I know of, myself included. And they feel like they can't snatch you. 
They feel like they can't claim you here, okay? For others where I said where it's a toxic family member or a toxic friend, the whole, the whole network is affected. The whole network's affected by this instability. Overall energy, we do have the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. For those where this is a romantic interest, this is the person trying to come forward. A very self-made. I heard self-made. Someone who's self-made, someone who's been through a lot of shit, but Emperor in reverse, they're lacking confidence that you'll see them. They're lacking confidence that you'll see them. They're lacking confidence they can actually come together with you. But I think it's very possible, Scorpio. I think it's very possible, especially if you work on some of your family stuff and some of your own childhood wounds here, okay? Yeah. And for those of this is a family member, like I said, definitely felt father, father issues here. Some of you, it's definitely going to be a family member of patriarchal specifically, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and do Saggy after I get a sip of water. Mm. Okay. All right, Saggies. Let's do this. What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? Oh. Deck wants to talk. What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? Ooh, Moldavite. Ooh, Saggy, what are you going through? <laughs> Saggy, I think you're going to be going through a little bit of an interesting time here. Moldavite's for transformation. It's for basically dealing with some deep, deep, dark ass shit and transmuting your transmuting your own energy. Can't wait for December for all this speech to come back here. Okay, so what else we have here? What other crystal? Wow. Okay, Sag, hold on. What do we have here? Oh, I can't pronounce these. I'm gonna try my best though. I'm gonna try my best. Carnelian. Carnelian and Sherroit. I can't pronounce French, guys. I'm not French. Sherroit? Sherroit? I don't know how to say that. There they are. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm just having fun with you guys. I'm just having fun. Okay. What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of October? I'm feeling a lot of sacral energy for you guys. Sag, oh, oh wow, and then you guys got the golden healer. So Libra had golden healer. So for those who just ish, just went to like the timestamp for Sagittarius, go ahead and go back to Libra. I don't like to repeat descriptions just to not waste time, right? So Libra had this one. If you want to hear the description for it, go ahead and check out Libra, okay? Don't worry, I'll hold it up again at the end. Sag, I really feel a lot of sacral energy with you, a lot of sacral energy. Um, I feel like it's clearing something out. You could be dealing with some sexual trauma healing some sexual trauma. Some of that could be brought up for you recently and you're having to work through that and you're having to transmute that energy. But it feels like it's very positive. It feels like it's very, very positive here, okay? Whatever it is you're going through, it might feel a little rough, it might feel a little dark, it might feel a little heavy, but you're gonna come out anew. Or, yeah, thank you. You're gonna come out anew, all right? So let's go ahead and read some of these. We're gonna go with Moldavite first. 34. Moldavite, metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into Earth some 11 million years ago, fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of Earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with inflooding cosmic light so that you feel more at home. You are on a search for the inner grail. Awareness of your divine origins, release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from mundane issues. You're going through a spiritual transformation, so dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions. Transcend time. Avoid sowing seeds of destruction. Fertility and good fortune await. 
You are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for Scorpios and integration of the physical and the spiritual. If you're a Scorpio Sag Cusper, definitely a good stone for you guys, okay? Now let's read the next one. Okay. Carne Carnelian. 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 Creativity. Protects against glamours or spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause precipitate, precipitate, act, precipitate action. <laughs> precipitate action. You have the ability to remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not full-heartedness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini. I thought I felt some sacral energy with this. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Ti take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love when he does that. Anyway, continuing. Uh, distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Be aware of charismatic of a charismatic person. Sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high, depending on the clarity. Great for the root and the sacral. Great for Taurians, Cancers, Leos, Virgos, and Scorpios, and for expressing soul vitality. I like it. All right. Now let's look at this other one. This is the last one. And then don't forget, we do have Golden Healer. I'll hold all four of them up at the end, okay? Ooh, is this the last one? Oh my God, it is. It's the last one. Sherot. 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 Wound Healing. Provides deep physical and emotional healing, transmuting negative energy. It converts disease to wellness. With, it assistant, with its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, guys. Using me as a step stool. Okay. Get back to this. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Sorry, guys. With its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. This stone re-energizes, re heals, and integrates dualities, healing past life disease, carried into the present life. Deep fears and schisms pervade your, your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. You are subtly driven by, o by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. <laughs> your auto, your oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why can't my mouth work right now? Your uh, uh, oh, Jesus. I'm going to skip that word. Your nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. Take time to take control. Time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. And accepting the present moment is perfect. You create the space to heal. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for all the chakras and for service to humanity and healing the wounds of the past. Wow. Sag. Wow. You got a lot going on here. We've got some sexual wounding going on that needs to be healed. A lot of past life stuff is coming up for you right now. And either way, it's really transforming you. And there's also a sense of galactic energy here too for my star seeds, okay? So I'm gonna hold all four of them up one last time. One last time, well, you know, collectively. And then we'll go ahead and get into the tarot cards. Moldavite. Got your pen and paper? Okay. Moldavite. Carnelian. I can't say that one. Chariot. 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 And Golden Healer. Okay, these are your four. Got a good look? Got a lot going on here, Sag. Why do I feel like many towers? Sag, some of you are gonna be experiencing many towers, like many, not just one. Some of you guys are gonna have a lot of towers in the month of October, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, Clyde, do not make me put you in my room. Because I will. Okay. 
One of my sad using these crystals for the month of October. Why am I sad using these crystals for the month of... Oh, sorry, guys. My crown is rocking. Give me a second. Oof. Okay. Ooh, it's going to start getting better in a minute. By the way, if any of you have, like, pain from upper chakras because you're going through an ascension or an awakening or what have you or you're getting an upgrade, keep your head covered. It helps dramatically. helps very significantly. Why am I sad using these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Okay, that feels good. Why do my Sagittarians need these crystals for the month of October? Ew. Nine of Cups in reverse Piscean energy. I feel overindulgence with this. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Uh, watch your drinks, Sag. Watch your drinks. I just feel like it's going to lead to a very lusty evening. Unplanned. I feel a little bit of morning regret, okay? Just saying, feel a little bit of morning regret with that. Not for all of you, you know who you are. You're probably prone to it already, okay? No shade, we've all been there. We've all had those moments, okay? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals? Healing, the star, Aquarian energy. You're going to go through a lot of healing, Sag, in the month of October. Like I said, I'm feeling the energy of multiple towers. <sighs> multiple towers. It's almost like one thing after another after another. Also, I'm getting domino effect. I am getting domino effect. Um, I do feel like it's relating to a lot of past life stuff. So you, you're repeating patterns. You're repeating patterns that you know you shouldn't just the messenger it's time to heal it's time to heal that any messages for Sagittarius some of you guys could be healing addiction some of you guys could be healing overindulgence as well or codependency Ooh. what do we got here wow five of pentacles taurian energy with the temperance card sagittarian energy and four of cups in reverse cancerian energy some of you guys are dealing with major abandonment issues five of pentacles with the four of cups in reverse that's rejection that's being alone being isolated being on the outskirts here's you right in the middle healing you got the two major can of healing cards here sag this is kind of intense this is really intense some of you could have been abandoned by family oh this is interesting sag for some of you this abandonment issue it's like a genetic issue it's an issue like your parents had or your grandparents had, but you have you inherited it. You inherited it. And yes, that can happen. That can definitely happen. Um, it's that same kind of thing that happens when like people have PTSD from like war, but they're just like descendants of like Holocaust victims. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that same thing. It's passed down through the DNA. It's passed down through cell memory. Okay. It, it's a, I can hear I can hear some guys arguing with me. Look it up. I'm telling you, it's been proven. It's been proven. Either way, serious abandonment issues are being healed right now, okay? Some of you with this overindulgence has led to um, not financial loss, but financial instability, inconsistency, financial inconsistency. So just be mindful of that, okay? Let's see what else we got out here. Some of you guys to heal these wounds of abandonment might actually get abandoned by somebody in October, whether, yeah, yeah, thank you, Spirit, thank you. Remember, this this card was saying, watch a charismatic person. Sag, some of you are going to be ditched by someone that you thought wouldn't leave you, or someone that, like, promised that, you know, promised this, that, and the other, and you're gonna just wake up and realize, oh, shit, this person's gone, this person's done with me. It could just be in the form of ghosting, okay? It could be just very mundane, non-dramatic. So let's go ahead and see what else we got going on here. 
Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? Ooh, I like that. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of October? All right, now we've got, oh, interesting. Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups in a verse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, some of you are expecting someone to deliver. You're expecting someone to basically keep their word on something, and they don't. They don't, or they don't do what you what you expect them to do, is what I'm getting. You got a lot of love here for whoever this is, but they're not acting on it. They're not acting on it, and you're feeling really abandoned. You're feeling really triggered. You're feeling really rejected. It's coming up like this. It's happening like this for a reason, so you can heal. It is very much divine timing, Sag, because overall we do have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. Divine timing is happening here. This person is doing this so you can work on these wounds. A lot of you, this is from your deep, deep, deep wounded childhood, okay? Others, it's from a past life issue or karma from a past life that you need to clear up, okay? Either way, you got a lot of love here, and I do think this person cares about you. They're just not doing what you expect them to do due to divine guidance and divine timing so that you can get some major healing done regarding this issue, okay? All right. I know, not awesome. I know, not very fun. Um, let's go ahead and do Capricorn. A crystal. I'm not taking it because we just started, but Smoky Quartz just came out. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of October? What crystals do my Capricorns... Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, halites. I like that. Let's see what else we got out here. What other crystals do my... <clears throat> Excuse me. What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of October? Someone got halite in the part one. I can't remember what sign it was. Was it cancer? I don't think it was cancer. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I need more water. My throat chakra is still integrating energies. Hmm. Okay. What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of October? Oh, Cappies, are you guys doing good or what? You guys only got the one crystal. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and read this one. Halite, the master cleanser. Halite draws out impurities from your physical, energetic, and soul bodies. It dissolves old patterns, negative thoughts, and toxic emotions, promoting emotional well-being. Halite stimulates the meridians and grounds the... <coughs> Excuse me and grounds the healing properties of other crystals. Subtle ties and influences may be affecting you more than you recognize. Unacknowledged feelings of abandonment. Are you a cusper, Cap? Are you a cusper? <laughs> of abandonment or rejection or emotional neediness may underlie dis-ease. Detrimental energies picked up under the influence of drinking or drugs could be affecting you. Some of you guys are definitely cuspers here. Some of you guys are definitely cuspers. <clears throat> As could someone else's lustful or jealous feelings. But being spaced out and undergrounded, under, undergrounded, and ungrounded also leaves you open to invasion by external forces. It's time for a thorough clear out in your life. Declutter your space, including your car. Detoxify your body and mind and try a juice fast for vitality. Regular detoxifying and purification on all levels ensures well-being, as does... Sorry, I thought we just had an earthquake. <laughs> Glad doesn't seem bothered. I swore I just felt an earthquake. Watching the blinds. Hold on, sorry guys. Yeah, I think we did just have a mini earthquake. <sighs> sorry, my heart's pounding. Okay. Oh, for those who've been with me for a while, you know my issue with earthquakes. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, Cap. Sorry, sorry. It was. It was a little mini one. Yeah, my blinds are moving. It was a little one. Oh, 
Shaking it off. Shaking it off. Where was I? Regular detoxifying and purification on all levels ensures well-being, as does being anchored on Earth. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the root, sacral, earth star, and solar plexus chakras, and for your purification and spiritual discernment. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm still a little shaken. I know it's just a baby one. I know. It was just a baby one. It's just a baby one. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. It's cool. Focusing back on you, Capricorns. Let me get back in this energy. I got taken out of it a little bit. I was in the flow. Then my anxiety kicked in. Okay. All right. Capricorns. Why do my Capricorns need Halite for the month of October? Why do my Capricorns need Halite for the month of October? Ooh, Cappy is interesting. I'm getting energy of haters, actually. Getting energy of haters. One of my Capricorns need Halite for the month of October. Whoever you're around, Capricorns, you might have some haters that you might not realize are haters, and I think they're surrounding you with negative energy. And I think it's affecting you. It might even be affecting you physically. People could also just be sending you negative energy very intensely. Yeah, I just feel need to like clear your your aura almost. Why do my Capricorns need highlight for the month of October? Let's see what we have here. Ooh, Justice in reverse, Libra energy, with the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and then the Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Ooh, I don't like this. I do not like this. It almost feels like someone gave up. Sa what was called you, Sag? Cappy. Someone gave up, and you feel like it's an injustice. Someone could feel this way about you, Cappies, that maybe they look at you as like maybe in and out energy, like you didn't care, you ran out, but that's the energy I'm getting. Like someone was not loyal, someone was not um, reliable. Someone just dipped. Someone gave up. Like it's an energy of I give up. Creating a burden. Ten of Wands, Sag energy. Creating a major burden. Capricorns, I feel like someone feels this way about you. Um, but you could have also been very burdened by the situation and that negative energy could be festering a little bit, which is why you need that you have to detoxify. One of my Capricorns need highlight for the month of October. Four of Swords in reverse Libra energy, exhaustion. Also lack of clarity. And then we have, oh wow, 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 wow. Yeah, someone dipped, Capricorn, someone dipped. Uh, Knight of... Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Magician. Mercurial energy, so <clears throat> Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine energy with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Cappy energy, and the Star. Healing from a manipulator, from someone you perceive as, as a manipulator. Someone who wasn't cooperating with you, someone who didn't want to cooperate with you, someone who didn't want to build with you, and someone who didn't want to give love to you. Someone who basically gave up and ran out creating a major burden and major exhaustion for you and a whole lack of clarity. Wow. Let's see what else comes out here. That sucks. That really sucks. And Capricorn, like I said, it can be vice versa, where someone could be perceiving you this way and sending you negative energy. Either way, Howlite would be great. Why do my Capricorns need Howlite for the month of October? One of my Capricorns need highlight for the month of October. I just heard escape responsibility. For some, this person got scared off by responsibility or obligation. I don't know what that obligation or responsibility could be, but it's very clear that they have no interest in building whatsoever, and you're going to be healing from that. Overall, yeah, ooh, Judgment in Reverse. Oh, wow, Capricorns. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. A manipulator. Very much a manipulator. King of Pentacles upright takes care of responsibility. King of Pentacles in reverse only cares about themselves. They only care about their own. They only care about their own. And even spirits like, what the hell is this person up to? <laughs> yeah, Capricorns, that's exactly what's going on. Someone didn't want to take responsibility for something. Someone didn't want to be um, relied upon. Someone only wanted to take care of themselves, and they're dipping. They're dipping, and they're being seen as a manipulator, and they're being seen as someone who's causing a major injustice in a situation. 
Wow. Okay. Aquas, you're next. Mm. Shoot, I need more water. Okay. Aquas. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of October? Ooh, Labradite. Ooh, I like it, Aqua. This is so Aquarian, too. Look how beautiful that stone is. Labradite. What other crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of October? Oh, and then we have Priscilla Blue Stone. Cancer had that too. If you have Cancer in your chart, you definitely might want to get this stone, okay? So let's go ahead and read these off. <laughs> okay. Labradite, the mind's eye. Labradite raises your consciousness to connect to mystical dimensions and the highest protective energies. It strengthens your faith in yourself and aids intuitive guidance. You are an intuitive being with the gift of foresight. Keep yourself grounded. The veil between the worlds is thin. You could easily confuse yourself with imaginings. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. It is your most effective tool in assessing intuitions and acting on those that are valid. Beware psychic vampires. Ensure that you do not have a leaky aura. You face a temporary setback, but a sudden reversal of fortune is possible. Be careful what you wish for. It may come true. Rehabrodite indicates capricious love. Giving your energy away is bad for your health. Establishing an efficient interface with the outside world to protect your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the third eye and the crown chakras. For Leos, Scorps, and Sagis. And for opening the inner eye. Ooh, aqua. Okay. I feel like you're going to have to be seeing through people. Definitely going to have to be seeing through people here, okay? The inner compass. Priscilla Blue Stones planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. The stone accesses... <laughs> accesses? past present and future you are an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing you have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity use natural medicine for ailments pay attention to your boundaries dig deep into the past access your memories and cut yourself free examine your deepest intentions and roots live in the present moment find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity it's a hard one for me equanimity you have power to decide pay particular attention to your environment be being true to yourself is the basis of all well-being spiritual and physical the frequency of the stone is earthy and high great for the earth star chakra and for taurian sagis and cappies and for developing a spiritual compass yeah aquas i have this strong sense you're gonna be needing to see through people you're gonna really be needing to see through people you could have people around you that don't have your best interests at heart here but that's what i'm getting with that seeing through people Seeing people for who they really are. Situations as well. Seeing situations for what they really are as well. Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? One more. Okay. Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of October? Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. So you can head towards your happy and leave bullshit behind. Bullshit people, bullshit situations once you see the reality of it. I'm so drawn to like the, the sun-moon combo here. It's technically just a moon, but the way they draw it, I see a sun and a moon here. That tells me about the polarity and balance in your masculine and feminine energies as well here, okay? Leaving behind shit that's inauthentic. I can almost speak, guys. <laughs> Leaving behind shit that's inauthentic. Wow. Ace of Cups in reverse. 
Whatever you're leaving behind, there ain't no love there no more. Whatever it was, whoever it was, um, people, situations, something that these were things that you had a lot of emotion for and you're realizing they're not true. They're ingenuous, ingenuous, inauthentic, whatever word you want to use. They're not real. They're not authentic and they're not in your best interest. Aquas, this is kind of, this is kind of rough. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of October? Wow. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse uh, Leo energy here. I'm getting mistrusted with this, which is weird. For the Six of Wands in reverse, that's not a usual energy, but I'm getting mistrust. You're realizing that people, again, who are not who they say they are. And I also feel this energy of attention. Negative attention. Thank you. Negative attention. Uh, oh, there we go. I feel like the people you're around here, Aqua, there's a lot of negative attention on you from them. And I think that's your red flag. There's something about this month that you're looking at people and it's like, wait a minute, you only say negative shit to me. You only criticize me. You only tell me what I'm not doing. You only tell me how I'm not shit or the things I need to do for you or the things that I need to improve or just how I'm not a good enough person. Wow, Aqua, that's what you're dealing with. People who tell you that you're not good enough, you're realizing they're very not, uh, they're not true to the, I can't talk, I'm sorry guys. You're realizing that they're not the kind of person you are. You're not cut from the same cloth and that they're very inauthentic and you're heading away from that. Why do my aquas need these? Wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't searing energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. It could be Aquarian, Piscean, Cusper, but not necessarily. It's been really hurtful. Whatever these people have been saying to you, however they've been acting, it's really been hurting your feelings, Aqua. Whether you want to admit it or not, Aquas, I love you. I'm just saying. I'm also getting an energy of codependence. I feel like these people rely on you, but at the same time, they criticize you. What kind of bullshit is that? What kind of bullshit is that? They're codependent on your energy. They're codependent on you for whatever reason or another, but at the same time, they talk shit to you. It could be one person. It could be many people, but you're realizing, again, they're inauthentic and you're not putting up with it, and you shouldn't. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, wow. Ending with the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Illusions. You have had a mask on, no, well, they've had, mask, they've had masks on, Aqua, I just heard Libra, they've had masks on, so you haven't been able to see them for who they really are. One person or many people. Look at all that fog, all that confusion, all that illusion. And now you're seeing the bullshit. You're seeing that they just want to talk shit, but they want to rely on you at the same time. And, and it's really been hurtful. It's really hurt your feelings. And you're like, God damn it, there's no love here. If it's just a romantic relationship, there's no love here. If it's multiple people, it's like, wow, these people are fake. These people are fake. I'm not dealing with fake people who just want to rely on me for my energy or for other shit or for my resources and who want to talk shit to me at the same time. I see through the bullshit now. I see through the fog. I see clearly now. Overall energy, Wheel of Fortune, Universe, Jupiter energy. This has been going on for a while, Aqua. This has been going on for a while and it's time to turn the wheel forward by leaving this shit behind. Leaving this shit behind and leaving these people behind, leaving this person behind because no one ain't got time for that, right? Right. Okay. Pisces. Last but not least, Pisces. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? What crystals? Ooh, I can't ever say this one. Mukite? Mukite Jasper? Mukite Jasper? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? Oh, I can't say this one either. <laughs> a joint, a joint, a joint, a joint, a joint. 
a joint a joint. I don't know why I want to say it that way. I'm 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 tired and silly and loopy right now. By the way, I'm just noticing the numerology on these cards, the 30 breaking down to three, and then you have a pure three over here. Very synchronistic. Let's see what other ones we get here. What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of October? Okay. Let's see what this last one is. Oh, Ancestral Light. Oh, shoot. Who had Ancestral Light? Scorpio. So, guys, we got a repeat here, Pisces. If you're just hitting the timestamp, oh. If you're just hitting the timestamp, go back to Scorpio if you want to hear the description for this stone. I don't like to repeat them just to save time, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and read these two, and then I'll show you all three at the end because we have, you know, a few. We got a few. Mukite Jasper, the dream time. Mukite Jasper balances inner and outer experiences. It encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience and start again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet, put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead, worry not. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths, stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas, avoid pride and despair. You have stamina, wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge such as, such as a job interview or presentation is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic food sustains your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to medium. It's great for the earth star chakras, root and sacrals, and great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. Wow. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice in the last couple minutes. Mm. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Ah. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. A joint, compassionate being, brings about a profound spiritual revelation. Drawing out karmic wounds, this crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts. You are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions, replacing them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path. Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. Detach gracefully and move on. But put down your burdens knowing you are a being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion encompass all. Charity or volunteer work is indicated. Immersing yourself in the love of the divine actually leads to health and happiness. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the third eye, crown, heart, throat, and soul star chakras. For Vir Virgos and Aquas, great if you're a cusper. And for keeping an open, compassionate heart. Ooh. Pisces, I'm feeling a couple things here, I gotta be honest. Um, I'm feeling like you guys are definitely addressing soulmates, issues that you have with soulmates here. And definitely a lot of energy of practicing forgiveness in order to move on, okay? That's what I'm getting with all three of these. So I'm gonna hold them up and then we're gonna do the tarot cards, okay? So these are your three crystals, but that's what I'm getting with this. And it's kind of hard because I feel a betrayal here, Pisces. You feel betrayed, you feel backstabbed, you feel very triggered by someone or a situation. And it's kind of like needing to take the high road, needing to take the high road in whatever it is they did and addressing them and addressing the issue trying to have that compassion and you know when we practice forgiveness we basically practice forgiveness for ourselves we don't do it for other people you need to practice forgiveness towards this person with whatever they did to you in order to move on and have a healthier path okay all right pisces let's go ahead and do tarot cards and see what those have to say pisces why do Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, my eye. Oh, sorry, guys. Why do Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Death and reverse scorpionic energy. Something big is coming up here. A big wound. A big fat open sore is actually what I'm seeing here, Pisces. A big fat open sore. Something that you try to put behind you and you realized you weren't over it. You realized you weren't over it. It's time to address it. It's time to address it, and it's time to forgive, and it's time to move on. But it feels like a big sore, a very big sore, a very big wound, and it does feel like it's attached to betrayal. Oh, looky, looky. Could be done with a Scorpio, but not necessarily. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. A lot of Scorpio energy for you, Pisces. A lot. This is definitely regarding someone that you loved. This is someone who loves you, too, Pisces. This is someone who loves you. This is someone who loves you, but who really, really hurts you. I can feel it really, really hurt you. Really felt backstabbed. Oh, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, very single energy, very independent energy, very confident energy. Pisces, I feel like this is where you've been for quite a while now. And again, whatever this betrayal was, you felt like you dealt with it. You felt like you put it behind you. And I think this person's reemerging here and you're realizing, oh shit, I am not over this. <laughs> Oh shit, I ain't over this. I'm not over this. Let's see what else we have here. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals? I'm getting college energy. For some of you, you might have met this person in college or university or they... A professor of yours oh this is interesting that's gonna resonate for someone out there um i'm feeling university with this for some of you not for all of you wow mm -hmm. three of swords in reverse libra energy with the four of cups in reverse can't syrian energy this person hurt you this person betrayed you it could have been a third party situation that you walked away from because you're you're looking very single here or very independent. You don't have to be single, but you can be very independent. And I feel like this is someone coming forward to try to make amends to you. This might be happening towards the end of October as we get closer to Mer true Mercury retrograde as opposed to the pre-shadow effect starting on the 11th. Um, but I feel like this is someone wanting to come forward, wanting to make amends with you or just wanting to address you, just wanting to contact you, see how you are. And you're standing strong, standing strong. And then you're like, oh, shit, I thought I was over that. I'm not over it. I'm not over it. Time to heal. Time to heal it. Time to heal it, Pisces. Time to address it, okay? Oh, beautiful. Overall, we have the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn. Underneath that, we've got the Ace of Swords, the truth. The truth will set you free, Pisces. <laughs> Even if you already know what happened. But this is also about communication. It's about honest communication to close out a cycle, to start a new cycle. You gotta let go of this. You gotta heal this sore, and this person is re This person's presenting the opportunity to deal with it, okay? Even if it hurts, you have an opportunity to heal whatever happened to you, okay? And you're gonna step into a really awesome new cycle because of it. Close out that karma, Pisces. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys have a great October, and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and have a great night, guys. See ya. Namaste.